Hello students, in today's lecture, I will discuss about video display devices. The most common video display device is CRT screen and we know that CRT is what? It is a cathode ray tube. The primary output device in a graphics system is a video monitor. The operation of most video monitors is based on the standard cathode ray tube design. And in cathode ray tube, we are having electron gun, then focusing system, then magnetic deflection coil, then phosphorus coated screen and refresh CRT. So here is a diagram of uh, cathode ray tube and uh, you can see in this uh, diagram we are having one base which is connected with uh, connector pins then we are having electron gun then focusing system then magnetic deflection coils and here this is the screen CRT screen and uh, this screen is coated with phosphorus and this is the electron beam which is falling on the phosphorus coated screen. So in this uh, we are having one electron gun <coughs> and basically this uh, electron gun is basically it is made up of cathode and we know that cathode is negatively charged. So when this cathode is heated up by using uh, we are bypassing the current in the connector pins uh, through the filament. Uh, so basically what is happening it is causing the electrons to be boiled off. That means it starts emitting the electrons. And But the electrons uh, is having a very low speed. Uh, to increase up the speed of the electrons in the electron beam we are having another system that is known as accelerating anode and we know that anode is positively charged in the vacuum inside the CRT envelope the free negatively charged electrons are then accelerated towards the phosphorus coating by a high positive voltage so we are applying a voltage and it is a positive voltage and we know that electrons are negatively charged and the voltage is positive. Certainly the positive voltage will attract the electrons. Then we are having another system that is known as control grid. You can see the figure. This is the filament where we are passing the uh, current and this is the cylindrical cathode from which uh, electrons are exiting and uh, this is the electron beam and you can see that here is a system that is called as control grid why it is named as control grid because it controls the number of electrons Control grid is basically it is a high negative voltage applied to the control grid with will shut off the electron beam by repelling electrons and stopping them from passing through the small hole. So you can see that here what is happening we are applying a voltage and the voltage is negative voltage and whenever you are increasing the voltage what is happening the electrons which are negatively charged and this uh, negative voltage they will repel each other and after some time what is happening it will shut off the electrons at this point so by making use of control grid we could control the number of electrons intensity of the electron beam is controlled by setting voltage levels on the control grid the amount of light emitted by the phosphor coating depends on the number of electrons striking the screen 
we control the brightness of a display by varying the voltage on the control grid so what is happening we are varying the voltage levels at this point and uh, if we are in, if you are increasing the voltage then certainly at some time it will stop all the electrons at this point now we are having another system that is called as focusing system electron beam to converge into a small spot as it strikes the phosphor otherwise the electrons would repel each other and the beam would spread out as it approaches the screen so whenever the electrons are emitting by the electron beam the electrons are not having any direction and they are scattered here and there so we need a system and the system is called as focusing system and this system helps to converge the electron beam at a specific point now we can move this electron beam by applying fields which uh, which could be electric or which could be magnetic fields so by electric or magnetic field we can control the movement of electron beam in horizontal as well as in the vertical direction now spots of light and basically it is produced on the screen by the transfer of crt beam energy to the phosphor as we know that electrons are having the kinetic energy and the kinetic energy is uh, transferred to the phosphor which excites the electrons of phosphor and a spot is produced then we could have the phosphorus that uh, we are using on the screen is could be it could be low persistence phosphorus or it could be high persistence phosphorus persistence is defined as the time it takes the emitted light from the screen to decay to one tenth of its original intensity so if the persistence of phosphorus is low then the picture will remain on the screen for a shorter duration of time if the persistence of phosphorus is high then the picture will remain for a long period of time on the screen so for low persistence phosphorus we require refresh rate refreshing means we are repainting the picture many times on the screen so low uh, persistence phosphorus require high refresh rate to maintain a picture on the screen without flicker a phosphor with low persistence is useful for animation while the high persistence phosphorus is used for displaying high complex static pictures resolution can be defined as the maximum number of points that can be displayed without overlap on a crt is referred as resolution the number of points per centimeter that can be plotted horizontally and vertically so if the resolution is high then the quality of picture is high and if the resolution is low then the quality of picture will be poor now aspect ratio this number gives the ratio of vertical points to horizontal points necessary to produce equal length line in both direction on the screen so it is a ratio of vertical points to the horizontal points now resolution of a crt is dependent on the type of phosphor the intensity to be displayed and the focusing and deflection systems high resolution systems are often referred to as high definition system thank you